I'm often asked how I became involved with PISA and um, I mean like most things in Italy actually my involvement is shrouded in mystery. Um, all I can tell you is that in March 1990 I got a, a phone call from a, a very good friend of mine, a man called Michaela Jamalkowski, and the call went something like this, uh, John it's Michaela here. And I put on my best Italian accent and said, Ah, oh, Michaela, how are you? And I uh, got a rather sombre reply that, well, I was all right until this morning. So I said, well, what happened this morning? He said, well, I opened my national newspaper and there I read that Andriotti has set up a commission to stabilise Pisa and I'm chairman of it. And I said to Michaela, oh, gosh, I, I am sorry about that. What a terrible job. That's a, a poison chalice. You, you can't win that one. You've really got my deepest sympathy. And he said, John, keep it for yourself. Your name is there as well. The most important thing that we had to, to do right at the start was to understand uh, the history of the inclination of the tower and really what its mechanism was. How was it moving? What was causing it? to lean. And it took us a long time to work it out, but in fact the answer can be demonstrated with a very simple model. Now Pisa itself is founded on really very, very soft material. So this uh, foam rubber really represents this extremely soft compressible material that it's founded on. And we can start building a tower on that material. And we'll make it as straight as we can, which is what the masons would have tried to do. Uh, so we go up with this straight tower. And we'll keep going. Now anyone who's built model towers on soft carpets with wooden bricks will know that you get to a certain height and no matter how straight you make it, at a certain height it's going to start to lean like that. And we can see it slowly leaning across and accelerating and moving. And there it is. Um, and that phenomenon which determines at what height it's going to suddenly start doing that is called leaning instability. Really the mechanism is that at a certain height if you give it what we call a small perturbation like that the centre of gravity moves and it generates an overturning moment because the centre of gravity has moved horizontally and the ground is so soft that it can't resist that increasing moment so it just keeps going. Uh, so the equation defining that critical height is really quite a simple one uh, and that's the mechanism. It's nothing to do with the ground being non-uniform and it's nothing to do with the strength. It's all to do with how compressible the ground is. And the enigmatic thing is that the Pisa Tower is right at that critical height. If it had been a couple of metres lower, it would have lent a small amount, but not much at all. If it had been a couple of metres higher, it would have fallen over centuries ago. But it's just at that critical height.